Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. In this video, we'll go through the list of words that we learned in our HESI vocabulary series from day number 1 through 25. Today, we'll go through the list of words from day number 21 through 25 in the, as I said, HESI vocabulary series. Even if you're not preparing for HESI, even if you have no idea what HESI, it, it, what HESI is, it really shouldn't matter to you. All you are interested in is improving your vocabulary. So here's the list. Day number 21. Day number 21, we learn pathology, posterior. The word posterior has a different meaning when it's presented in a plural form, posterior as opposed to posteriors. Portent. Portent with the po, you see, with the o sound, portent, and when the word appears with the prefix im as an antonym, the pronunciation changes. It is no longer pronounced important, it is pronounced impotent. Portent, impotent, precipitous, precipitous, precipice, precipice, press, a, piss, it has three syllables, press, a, piss, precipice. Predisposed, inclined, those are the words we learned on day number 21. On day number 22, if you come across a word that gives you trouble with the pronunciation as I was having the trouble just now, it's a good idea to slow down and learn how to pronounce each syllable separately and then put them together afterwards. Don't try to say the whole thing in one shot. One more time. pre sip e tus It has four syllables. pre sip E does precipitous. This one has three syllables. Press a uh, piss. Precipice. Precipice. Precipitous. Predisposed inclined. On day number 22, we learn primary, secondary, tertiary. Primary and secondary were not the vocabulary words. What we wanted to learn there was the word tertiary. Tertiary is related to the word peripheral, which is in which is in turn related to auxiliary. 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 This is a tricky word here. We learn this thing because of the pronunciation in the singular form and the plural form. Prognosis, prognosis, and prognosis. Prognosis, prognosis. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a video that you can watch. It's called Mispronounced Plurals. Where can we put it? Mispronounced Plurals. Just type in my name Keshwani and just type in this uh, tag here, mispronounced plural. Watch that video where we learn several pairs of words where people tend to mispronounce the words in the plural form. Hypothesis, hypotheses. Parenthesis, parentheses. Prognosis, prognoses. And the, and the spelling changes. The I changes, the I in the singular form changes to E. And prognosis becomes prognoses. This is again tricky word. Rational, the difference between the word rational and rational. You see how the pronunciation changes? Not only the pronunciation changes, but the meaning is also different. Do you know the difference between the word rational and rationale? If you stick an E at the end, it's pronounced rationale. Recur. That's a simple, straightforward word. That what was day number 22. On day number 23, on day number 23, we learned the word renal, acute, and then we learn these two accents that you see when we come across French word, accent, ag, this is mispronounced, it's missing a U in there. Day number 23, it's pronounced accent agu. It's missing a U. Just give me one second here. Before I put it here, I just want to make sure that A, I, it should be, it's not missing a U, it's misspelled. Accent, ac, accent, ague is this one right here, slanted this way. And then they have another accent which is pronounced accent grave, accent grave, which is this way right here. Again, accent ague, accent grave. The difference between the word sight and sight. They're pronounced in the exact same way. They're pronounced in the exact same way. 
They have different spelling, as you can see, with an S and a C. They have different spelling, different meanings. Two words that they have, the two words that have different spellings and different meanings, and yet they're pronounced in the same way, are the words that are that are called homonyms. And we learned about homonyms, a great deal about homonyms. And if you want to, if you want to collect a list of homonyms, just type in homonyms along with my name, and you will find ten videos numbered one through ten on homonyms where we learned. 100 pairs of homonyms. These two are homonyms. Sight. Sublingual, supplement, augment, and finally suppressed. That was day number 23. On day number 24, on day number 24, we learned symmetry. The word symmetry was not the word we were interested in. We wanted to learn the word in different parts of speeches. And in different parts of uh, different parts of a speech rather. Symmetry. What's the adjective of symmetry? The adjective of symmetry is symmetrical or symmetric. Both of them are acceptable adjectives. Symmetric or symmetrical. What's the adverb? Adverb of symmetry is symmetrically. And thus, that's what we want to learn there. The difference between the word symptom, the word, the difference between the word symptom and syndrome. Do you know the difference? Well, that's what we learned on day number 24. Finally, we have therapeutic, transdermal, and dermatology. Transdermal and dermatology, as you can see, they share the suffix and the, uh, the, the, the suffix here is the same as here, dermatology. And finally, on day number 25, the very last day, the very last day in our vocabulary series of HESI, we learned the word trauma, triage, untoward, unseemly, unbecoming. They are all related in a way, and you will find the meanings and the differences in the meanings of these three words when you watch the video, number 25. The very last one in this in the series. Now don't confuse this hissy series of vocabulary words, which only goes up to 25 and it, it, that's, it, it ends there, that's the end of it. Whereas this vocabulary series, which is our regular vocabulary series, which may even continue afterward, day number 100, I do not know yet. Right now we are on day number 75, and this, this will probably will continue forever and ever, but this is it. This there are only 25 words, this was the last word. Again, untoward, unseemly, and unbecoming. That was it. If you are interested in learning any of these words, if you are interested in improving your vocabulary, there are the videos. Bye now.